camera. Oh yeah. All right, Facebook Live. All right. Video blog with my son, dropping him off to school. We're stopping at a favorite spot here to watch the, watch sunrise. the sunrise. Wake up, dude, wake up. I know, I'm waking up, waking up. We have a lot of stuff to do today, exciting day. Yeah. So let's share with, uh, with the audience here what's, what's been happening in your school, man. What was your, your day like yesterday when, when Trump got elected? What, was, what were the teachers saying? What, everybody what was the was, feedback? Everybody was like, oh, why did Trump, why did Trump win? Why did, why did he do that? But like, what I got out of that is that like, Trump already won, so can't do nothing about it. And it's not so much of who won, but it's how you react to the situation, how you react, how Trump won. You could be mad, you could be upset, you could kick a wall, you could punch a wall, but that doesn't make a difference. Because you were, who were you going for? You were going for Hillary. For Hillary. What were you going for Hillary, not for Trump? Well, I just thought Hillary had more experience. That's what I was looking more for. And what do you, what do you think Trump, like what, what was Trump it take, was, take, take Trump, taking Trump? he won because he was a good businessman, so he used his business skills to influence people, and so and then he got more followers. So were people upset in your school? Like, were your friends upset? Yeah, that? they were all, they were all like Hillary. They are all going for Hillary. And, and did anybody, like, were, was anybody sad? Like, you know, in the news and the media, people, you know, people were crying and, and, and they were upset. They were upset. What were your teachers saying? Oh, I didn't, they didn't say nothing about it. They just said, like, don't talk about it, don't talk about it. So they say, actually, not to talk about it. Like, we want to move on. Yeah. And, and see, I think that's one of the problems that we have in society is like we want to wanna, mask we want to mask the problems let's not talk about shit <laughs> let's not talk about the problem let's ignore the problem with the reality is there's an obvious obvious pain that's going on right now that's, and that's what everybody is well now everybody's like uh, just don't talk about it just don't talk about it just don't and and we, we you know the more that we want to mask and not talk about it the more that's going to build inside of it. i mean that's the yeah. reason i think that i'm doing this video blogs and i'm i'm I, i'm taking it out so i will stop taking yeah. it in and it will then you're expand gonna hold it and you hold it and then it gets even worse and worse so you're just like building it and building it and it's not good so once you if you're upset if you're angry just you know there is healthy ways to let out yesterday for example i went to see Vinny, and we were in the we were sparring you know and i let my energy out but to be honest with you like i wasn't i wasn't going for trump i wasn't going for hillary i just truly didn't care who was going to be president because I knew I was prepared for either one. Either one. Mm -hmm. And if nothing else, like one of the things that I, I want to teach you is be prepared for anything, man. Be prepared for anything, man. Don't. Nobody thought Trump was going to win. You know, don't fall for the for the media. Don't fall. Don't mm -hmm. be influenced by your friends. Don't be influenced by your teacher. Just know who you are. Like, yeah. you know, know what you want to do and stand for something. And if you stand, you take a stand, man. You don't care. Who does what? What you know? What happens? Yeah. You know how to adapt, adjust, and execute. Mm -hmm. You know, because at the end of the day, I mean, that's what life is. Life is gonna throw you punches. Not people are not gonna agree with you. Yeah, they're not. Like, not even our family agrees with us. Imagine everybody. That's just like I think that Trump. Like, I don't know how he's gonna handle this much people because this is actually a really big responsibility. Like being president, being like that's like taking care of like a thousand kids let's just imagine the pressure of any president having any the courage president. to actually you know run for bread like the, i have a hard time running my household of of yeah. your sister your mom you and me <laughs> four people i have a hard time having and four copper. people and copper the bunny i have a hard time having five individuals agree on something like where we're we gonna eat <laughs> and everybody has different opinions of what we're gonna eat and then I have to put the hammer down and say, okay, we're going to eat here. Imagine Trump. Imagine Trump. He has to police millions of people. Like, the next four years, you're going to see the shift on on, oh, the, yeah. on, on a man. And, I'm, you know, it just takes a different type of man to step into that leadership. You know? I think, like, like, I always thought it was like when they're running for president, they say something different. And then when they're there, they completely change every single thing, like because whether it's good or bad. Because it's impossible for them to have everybody agree. Like I was telling because you yesterday. Because like Trump, when he he runs, he's only thinking like about 
him well, he wants to do. what he wants to do, but he's not listening to everybody. Well, when he comes president, then he has to live to everybody because he's taking care of everybody. Well, he has to have the Senate, and then they have to pass the laws, and then he's going to comment below. Comment below, how are you reacting to other people's pain? How do you react to other people's pain? And, and do you how, mask your pain? And how are you dealing with this pain? Like whether you're taking it on somebody, whether you're calming it down. Okay, bye. I really gotta go. Love you. Bye. Have a great day. You too. Because at the end of the day, your kids are going to be a reflection of your life. They're not going to do what you tell them to do. They're going to do what they watch you do.